unprepared, unscripted, welcome to Model Mania Live. And did you guys know that? From a e drawings of a 2D drawing, you can right click on a view, go to view, choose rotate, and we now have from a 2D drawing the 3D model. Well, welcome back to Model Mania Live. Today we are doing Model Mania 2005 from SolidWorks World 2005. We have 20 minutes on the clock. Let's take a look at our phase one drawing. I feel like there's some sort of surface thing I can do at the top. What that is exactly, I don't know. Okay, if we get that profile, we can do this loft, but then we, how do we get this up? All right, but uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, Proctor's come around. Uh, Michael, are you ready? I guess I am. But I like that initial technique, and we do have we, no fillets this time. So draft, no. Fillets, no. Surface tricks, yeah. Um, I feel like there's going to be some surfacing here that we're going to worry about. So I guess let's start the timer, and best of luck. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. We're taking right? Yep. Should we do that again? <laughs> I didn't even get clicked into SolidWorks yet. I already have the part open though. Okay, we're going. So I'm thinking start. Oh, I didn't do it. We're in inches in my drawing. 27. Oops. 27 millimeters. Millimeters. We're going to extrude that up five. And I want a plane offset from that top at 20. I mean, I guess we could do it from there. Let's, wait, that's the dimension that we're given. So I would say that's my reference. We're going up 15. Who knows if this is going to bite us or not, but we want to create a sketch there. Um, let's draw a center line just kind of out in space. Grab our circle tool, we have one there. Try that again. One there, one there. Um, one kind of there maybe, one kind of there. So we know that, that, and that. I could have done two center lines, right? But this is kind of close enough. Those are vertical, these are equal. That and that are equal. So we know the size of this one. It's given in to us in the radius, so we want 20. And that is 180. So we know those two are tangents. And I know those two are tangents. Undo, undo. Let's get that a little closer, shall we? There we go. Trim. Could do less trimming here, but okay. There's our profile. There's our center point. There's our origin. Those are coincidence. Oh, we lost some dimensions. We have that one, but we, oh. Oh, we have an overall width, so I can dimension that circle to that circle. It gives me the center, but here's where we can go to, just hit okay for now, go to leaders. Go to max, max, and that value is 75. Okay, so that's looking good. So what we can do here is a loft from that face to that sketch. And now what? So we know, let's go to our front. Let's just create a point up here. 
I could do a line. Let's do a line. The length of that line is, oops, let's just draw it up there. From this edge to the top is 12. Oh, I guess the other thing I could do there is looking at that direction, we have a circle at some point that goes up to there. The radius is 250, so the diameter is 500. Yeah, I could be using symmetry here, oh well. I just want two vertical lines. We're going to take that edge, hold control, grab that point. We're going to pierce it. Trim. I, I, I could use profiles, but I'll just trim that off. So what's interesting there is that is, oh, let's make those equal. Now we're fully defined. So there's kind of one deal there. If we go to the right plane, create a sketch. Um, I know, again, we're going to come up all the way to the top there can I make that point and that coincidence that radius is 75 let's go back normal two similar thing feel like I'm just taking up way too much time because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this. This just gives me the dimensions that I know. Yeah, what am I going to do with this? I could now let's just do this. I'm trying to think of other other ways I could do that. I like that spline on surface. That's a newer one. It just kind of makes this easier. Spline on surface. There to there to there to there there. Now, why it's underdefined? And I don't know how close this is that gives me a fully defined sketch. So can I use that 3D sketch to trim? So I'm liking that a lot. And then we do surface, boundary surface, nope, filled surface. Strain curves that and that. I like it a lot. Okay, so we're we're kind of there. Surface bodies we're going to knit, create solid. Okay. So there's our solid body. I think we've got it. You think so? I think so. Um, seven minutes. This is tight. Let's switch over to two here. Let me just bring this back up. Okay. <laughs> Changes. Remove material as shown. So we kind of have this maybe cut coming up in there. It's not really a shell. 
add drafts, add fillets. This one is tough. Um, fillets we're adding are to be one millimeter. Six minutes, yikes. Got part, yeah. Well, we got phase one, I feel like pretty good. Um, let's spend a couple more minutes on this phase two, see if we can just figure it out. Mmm, yeah, okay, I'm thinking surfaces. Um, so what I can do is just create some surfaces. We want offset surface of five millimeters, that's our thickness. No, I don't want to offset there, but I do want, is that gonna create itself? It's not giving me the preview. It makes it, uh, if we hide my body here. Okay, and then yeah, because that maintains the same angle of draft. So let's um, extend uh, to propagate. I don't think I need to go that high. Um, we want to offset surface, zero offset surface of this guy. And I don't need that sketch anymore, so let's just clean that up. Let's hide my body. Um, we will extend there. Okay, we can choose linear. We know it's linear. want it to be the same surface why it's not okay um, and then so here's where I'm thinking we can use some other tools so because we have kind of those bounding surfaces I really like what's happening here um, so we can use intersect we didn't have this tool back in 2005 but I have it now, and I'm gonna be tested on the tools that I have now. Create intersecting regions, intersect. Region one. Um, should have more than that region. I think I misclicked. There we go. Regions to exclude. We want to get rid of that. We want to get rid of that one. We want that one. And we want that one. Merge results. Consume surfaces. Sure. Click OK. I think that looks pretty good. Fillets. One millimeter. Now you can see in the drawing here there is this tricky section detail BB right in there because there is a fillet that comes down and down. So we want, yeah, I'm thinking we want to apply these big ones. The big ones are all the same size. <laughs> the sharper edges first and then go in with the second fillet for that edge. So it likes that, it likes that. We want to fill up the bottom as well. Um, it's filleted inside, so can I choose this? 
can choose that one. Now, if I do, I'm thinking it's going to blow up. It doesn't. So I feel like I'm just going to keep going here until it breaks. Maybe it won't break. Here's where I'm thinking it'll break. Yep. So let's turn that one off. Let's create that. Another fillet. Yeah, so here's where it gets tricky, right? Is it creating a small... Yeah, okay, good. It does do it. We just need to pick that edge. This one's picking it up, looks like. So that gives us our very small hairline hairline fillet around that edge. Corners look good. So I think that's it. So we're what, a few minutes behind of finishing within that 20 minutes. Uh, again, is it world record worthy? No, I don't think so. Should we have a world record competition on these model manias? You guys let me know. I think that would kind of be a would be a little bit of fun. Let's see how fast you can make some of these common parts. I have an e-drawings version. Yeah, so here's the e-drawings version of that drawing. And did you guys know that? From a e-drawings of a 2D drawing, you can right click on a view, go to view, choose rotate, and we now have from a 2D drawing the 3D model. Now hopefully you learned something <laughs> today. But yeah, you can actually rotate the 3D model from a 2D drawing from SolidWorks. So hopefully you learned that. Hopefully you picked up some other tools and techniques. Um, enjoyed watching me struggle, especially in that surfacing section in phase one, but we got it in time, I think. And then trying to get that those last cutouts this one I think definitely needed a lot of surfacing skills to create those offset surfaces, do some of those intersects to create that geometry. But at the end, I think that's the maybe the best way to do it rather than doing cut extrudes or shells. Um, I had the idea of doing like a multi-body approach, just wasn't going to do it for us today, um, or at least not in a timely fashion. I definitely got on another track. So again, hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll catch you at Model Mania 2006 tomorrow. And if you haven't done so already, Please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy today's content. Catch you next time.